as all of you know flood is nothing it's the inundation or submerged water of any of the land area means it could be any land area which is generally not covered by water originally people say when the rivers start overflowing and they flood the human settlements or nearby area and generally flood takes place due to both the reasons it could be man-made and natural factors right so now we will see the major types of flood so there are types of flood like it could be a river flood snow flood lake flood sea flood tsunami generated flood flood due to collapse of dam flash flood cloud burst so these are the varieties of flood which we will be dealing one by one so let's first talk about the river flood what do you mean by river flood and how like what are the mechanics of the river flood we will see that so river flood generally they happens due to a too much of increase in the rainfall when the river channels of the rivers they become incapable of carrying the huge volume of water means whatever channel capacity is available with the river it's more than that thus in that manner it allows flooding of the surrounding areas which are known as flood plains and for example if you see this kind of river for example if i buy mithi river maharashtra so mithi river in maharashtra flooded almost whole mumbai right right so it flooded whole mumbai almost whole of the mumbai is flooded on 26 july 2005 Similarly, Sabarmati River, Krishna, and Kaveri River, they also flooded the nearby area in 2005. So these are the two examples of the river flood, right? Then we have snow flood, as all of you know. Okay, so this kind of snow flood. is basically a modified example of river flood due to the snow melt so what happen in this case there will be a sudden flow of snow which happens in higher himalayas and this leads to flood because there will be a too much of excess of discharge of water into the river channel like spontaneously lot of water will come into the river channel so the floods in like indus chenab jhelum ravi vyas satluj alaknanda brahmaputra so these are all produced due to flood of snow melt because the snow will start melting and there will be too much water sudden into the river during the month of may and june so this happens generally then we have lake flood so what do you mean by lake flood so such kind of floods they results when the water surface rises in response to sudden influx of river water right which may be due to some melting of glacier or sudden cloud burst for example in jhelum it crossed dal lake right in 2004 flood in satluj this was also example of flood lake or lake flood which was a result of an overflow of lake water in the tibet region so this should be kept in mind so like examples are important from examination point of view right then we have sea flood so what do you understand by sea flood so sea flood they occur when the high tide or the storm coincides with exceptionally windy generated sea waves due to cyclones means there is a cyclone and as well as there is a high tide coincides for example in odisha there was a flood in 1999 so it was is a perfect example of sea flood powered by cyclonic activity right then tsunami which is all of us are familiar these there is a tsunami generated floods so tsunami is generally produced due to the underground earthquake at the sea floor and generally the earthquakes are of like richter scale more than 7 and it is a very common phenomenon in pacific ocean right 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड फोर इंडियन ओशन हैस्ड अ मैसिव सुनामी विच ऑलमोस्ट सब जो समर्ज ह्यूज एरिया ऑफ अंदमान एंड निकोबार बेसिकली इंदिरा पॉइंट निकोबार and coastal areas of east india so this is a very good example of tsunami generated flood then we have flood due to the collapse of dam this is also an important aspect in a country like india so these are the flood which are caused by collapse of the dams like dam suddenly collapse and there is a flood why these are like too much of dangerous because they submerge the huge area of the plain for example Koina Dam in Maharashtra. So Koina Dam get failed, which is made up of Koina River in Maharashtra in 1968. So this Koina Dam failure is an example of flood due to the collapse of dam. Another example is the Kushwaha Dam failure in Nepal in 2008. These are the two recent examples of flood due to the collapse of dam, which needs to be remembered because it is an important type. then we have flash flood so flash flood is nothing but it is the continuous heavy rain in any area which like leads to a flash flood too much of water too much right so due to heavy rain there is a too much of water and there is a flash flood like everything will go then we have one more type which is called as cloud burst type of flood so what happen in cloud burst basically this is a phenomena in which the huge amount of rainfall happens in very small span of time so we say it's a cloud burst like suddenly cloud have burst too much of rain in very small amount of time and this cause flood in that area for example cloud burst which happens in 2010 in leh this is a very regular example of cloud burst now we can see some of the causes of flood that why flood happen right some of the causes of flood that why flood happen one important cause is deforestation less tree more erosion more flood right and heavy rainfall is another reason with erratic behavior of southwest monsoon that could be one of the reason of the flood then silting of river bed for example rajasthan a lot of silt get deposited into the river bed so the water level get uplifted and suddenly flood happens so for example in rajasthan this situation happened then we have faulty land use practice like the latest example is a commonwealth game village which have been constructed in the flood plain near akshardham temple so national green tribunal have declared it to be a flood plain but still that commonwealth village have been constructed in that area so this is a sort of faulty land practice then rise of water level due to the excessive irrigation right if you do too much of irrigation there will be a lot of water that could cause the flood then shifting of cultivation like slash and burn cultivation this leads to deforestation and sometime it could be a cause of flood so now let we will be seeing some of the flood prone areas in india so flood prone areas are like ganga brahmaputra river plain which include generally bihar up west bengal assam then mahanadi krishna kaveri delta godavari delta so these are some of the flood prone areas rajasthan the plain in the rajasthan due to silting the river bed these are also the potential areas of flood prone areas right now let's see some of the mitigation measures associated with the flood so the flood control program in india was launched in 1954 after the country experienced a devastating flood in 1953 so it was the immediate need of the hour to launch something some policy so that's why this national the india launch flood control program in 1954 so this flood control program was consisting of the three phase basically so the first phase was the immediate phase like we have to immediately control the floods 
and this phase extended almost around two years and it includes the collection of basic hydrological data that people were interested in the hydrological data from that area and executions of immense flood protection measures right so they are interested in how we can protect from the flood such as construction of embankments and improvement of river channel by removing the silt desiltation basically they want to remove the silt so that the water level in the river goes down and raising the village level above the flood level means like that there, there should be some higher level where the villages are generally and there the next phase was the short term phase and this phase lasts for the next four to five years in this phase they stress on the following activity the improvement of surface drainage right then the shifting of village over the flood level this was one of the target then construction of the diversion channels this was one of the target under the short term phase then they highlighted the long term phase and the long term phase basically include the measurement of the flood controls construction of dams reservoirs river channels use of remote sensing GIS geographical information system GPS geographical position system and implementation of proper land use practices these were in the long term phase for the mitigation of the flood and this was all about under flood control program then apart from these major following additional measures can be undertaken in order to control the flood so what, what can be the preventive measures so if we plant tree in the large quantities like massive afforestation that could be one of the strategy to protect the flood plain zone by planting one kilometer tree line along the cross river bank like if you plant too much of tree along the river bank that could be one of the strategy to prevent the, to prevent the flood then the second one was the restriction of industrializations or cutting of trees in the hilly region along the river belt that can be done then formation of national water board which will keep checking the preventive measures for flood this could be one of the solutions and construction of hydraulic home resistance to floods that can be done implementation of nidm that is national institute for disaster management their guidelines what one needs to be do's and what one must not do in the case of flood that can be taught to people then river interlinking concept which facilitate the transfer of surplus water to the water deficient areas like uh, kain and betwa river are the first to be interlinked in order to transfer the surplus water to the other river then use of remote sensing in imd data and meteorological department and geographical information system for micro zonation study of flood prone areas can be done in order to prevent the floods then afforestation program the known governmental organizations some of the ngos can be help groups print and visual videos self help group these are the tools then formation of the sdm that is state disaster management authority and district disaster management authority the ddma could be helpful which will be under the prevalence of nidm right so this was some of the things that how the flood can be prevented now the next thing is we will be moving to what 